Lately, I've been trying to wake up at 5 a.m. to enjoy a good morning routine before I teach my students. But before I get to show you my 5 a.m. morning routine, I need to show you what I do before I wake up because it really helps me wake up early easily. So you basically get a two for one, a night routine and a super early morning routine. <laughs> Let's go back to last night. So usually I eat dinner around 5.30 p.m. because I'm so hungry after work. I made pasta because a full stomach helps me sleep through the night, you know, food coma. Bonza pasta is made from chickpeas, while the Sieti Foods queso is vegan. I'm not vegan, but I like to eat vegan food. I know. So after I put my meal prep away and eat my dinner, I've shown you guys my nighttime routine video before. Let's go ahead and skip to my bedtime. I try to sleep around 9 p.m. I lay out my workout clothes and also put my work clothes in my backpack to change into after I shower tomorrow. I've been reading 1 Samuel in the Bible and I usually like to read books in the Bible in its entirety. So I give my pillows a quick lavender spray and then I'm off to bed. I set my alarm clock to 5 a.m. I first had multiple alarms, but I think that's a bad habit I've been forming, and so now I just stick to two, and I usually wake up by the first one. And my heater and my diffuser are both on a timer. You can set the mist level of how high you want it. Let's leave it at level one. And then you can also make it really warm and have it mist out really, really warm air. And I'm, I'm sick right now, so it's very helpful. And this tank is huge. Oh, I need to refill it some more. I just flipped it upside down, unscrewed this, and I'm gonna add some water into the tank. Okay, Google, turn off lights. Sure, turning off the lights. One of the most important things about waking up early is having some form of accountability, so I always sign up for an early workout class so that it forces me to wake up. You also don't want to get into the habit of hitting the snooze button, so I told myself, we're getting up on the first alarm, and boom, here we are. I make my bed as usual, and it's one of the first things I get done in the morning. Waking up early has been so good for me because I'm a very rushed person in general and I never wake up earlier than I need to, but having this new morning routine and being able to just have a lot more time to relax and to be able to do the things that I need to do in an efficient way is amazing. And so I really encourage you guys to try to wake up earlier and to establish this morning routine. Please make sure to drink a ton of water because I want to stay hydrated before my workout. And my workout class is at 6 a.m. so I do my usual morning routine, get ready, and then I read my Bible again. At first I wasn't sure what to do with all of my time, but now I just spend time with God until my workout. It really has helped me feel less frustrated at work and I feel like it really makes a difference when you dedicate your day to God so that I'm focusing less on myself and more on Him and why I do what I do. So how I go about choosing which book to read in the Bible is that I usually just kind of pray and think about which character in the Bible I should really be focusing on in my season of life. And right now I've been wanting to read David and so I've been reading David's origin story and just kind of how he became king. It's very helpful that I have a study Bible so that I'm able to really understand the backstory. But whenever I read the Bible, I want to make sure that I understand the time period. I want to make sure I know who wrote it, why they wrote it, and how it applies to me today and what God is saying to us. I also haven't been using my phone as much because I deleted social media on my phone for the month of January and I've just been using it on my desktop and so I feel less obligated to look at my phone and I spend more time on things that are in front of me so I'm much more present. So while driving to my workout, it's still dark and it's 5.30 a.m. While I drive to my workout, I take this time to just reflect on what I read, but also marvel at how empty the streets are. Then I sit in my car and contemplate my life choices. Thankfully, a lot of the workout classes I go to have really nice showers so I can change out of my sweaty clothes. There's definitely something magical about being awake while the sun begins to come up. 
The sun is still barely waking up. I'm going to make a quick snack. So I was looking for this everywhere because one of my friends uses it all the time. And then I saw that Milk and Eggs carries it. So they have the lowest mercury of any brand. So it makes me feel better about eating tuna. Okay, so to my tuna, I added some celery and some chopped up grapes. And then this avocado oil mayo, which is much healthier. Um, you can get all of this on Milk and Eggs. It's very helpful. And then I'm gonna add some crushed pepper and some lemon. And it tastes really good. Okay, so after my workout, I'm starving and I'm gonna make this blue Majik smoothie. It looks like this. And it's really good for you. We're going to start with my ripple milk. Then I'm going to add a frozen banana. And just kind of mush it up. I'm going to add some pineapples. A handful. Noosa blueberry yogurt. that swirly goodness. And then I'm going to add my Blue Magique powder, which helps with inflammation, your joints, and it's an antioxidant. And last but not least, I always add uh, collagen protein to my smoothies because it's good for my joints. And then this one actually has 18 grams of protein, which is really good and it's flavorless. So this is my favorite. So since there's so much stuff in there, I'll just add a scoop and then we blend. I could drink it out of here, but for aesthetic reasons, I'll just pour it in. So the Blue Magique is completely flavorless, so you could add it to any smoothie and make it blue. Snack. So this is my meal prep from yesterday, and here's my snack, and it's still 7.33. Now that the sun is finally awake, let's open up my blinds. Okay, so I still have about 30 minutes before I need to go to work, and I'm going to just spend time with God, and I don't want to record that part because I should genuinely just spend time with Him, but I wanted to tell you guys that honestly, Waking up at 5 a.m. at first, you contemplate life and you think, why did I do this? But then thereafter, but then if you plan a workout, I come out feeling so energized and I personally don't drink any coffee because I don't like to eventually become addicted to anything. And so I feel like working out is a natural caffeine energy enhancer. And so I really encourage you guys to just make more time for yourself. I am a very rushed and hurried person. And so I like to just go, go, go. And this morning I just took my time with everything. And even now I feel like I have so much time. Mm. I am going to go to work earlier and then just kind of plan out today. Thankfully, we get to dress in casual wear today, so I don't have to worry too much about my outfit. But yeah, it's been it's been good. There was a point in my workout where I was I was feeling really drowsy, but I also took um I also took cold medicine last night because I'm starting to feel a little sick. So it could have been that, but I was kind of like, whoa. <laughs> but it's all good. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.